Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my GX470. Uh, I might actually put it up for sale soon. So if you're near Northern New Jersey, be on the lookout, Facebook Marketplace, or hit me up. Uh, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I fixed my no sound issue. I thought I'd give back to the community. Uh, this took a lot of hours of research. So, you know, please like and uh, comment if this helped you out, let me know. So the first thing I did was I removed the front seat. Uh, I just kept the harness attached. You don't want an airbag light but you know, it's just two 14 mils in the front and two in the back. And then you have clear access to this guy. There's usually a bracket and stuff, but I already removed that. So, you know, and I took off the, the Mark Levinson strip to expose these bolts. Now, what I found was that uh, my issue was, here, let me turn this thing on. I pretty much get sound for two seconds, just like that, right? And what I would do what I did to test this whole thing out, I'll get in here. What I did to test this is I would go to uh, menu, volume, and play it. Guidance will be at this volume. And that's playing right here. So what I would do from there is I'd go to audio, sound. Now for some people, this would be all the way to the right. Now basically what I did is I would just play around with this. I'd move this all around the place and then go back. I would go back to menu and volume. Guidance will, be, guidance will be at this volume. And it was playing in different areas of the car. So that was how I found out my speakers weren't blown essentially. Um, and you know, basically every time I shut up the car and turn it back on to play for two seconds. So what I found, okay, sorry about that noise, is when I turn the car on, Look at this amplifier. You see that running? That fan's going. But after the audio turns off, it turns off. So that told me right there, I have a dead amp, right? It's not the head unit, it's the amplifier. So what I did was I bought a new one. Now you gotta take notice of your model number. Mine's 0W141. So that means I need another 0W141. Another option you have is to send this in for a pair, but that's $400 just to send it in for a pair. So what I did is I tried to fix it first. I took it apart. You need, these are like T15 or T20 screws. That means Torx. Um, that's what these guys are. So I took it apart and I tried to find anything that looked like obviously messed up didn't find anything what I did was I got some 99% alcohol you need this uh, to clean like motherboards and stuff you don't like you can't do this with 70% so because this leaves no residue so it's good for electronics and that didn't fix anything right I put it back together and it didn't fix anything so this was my solution so this is how I fixed it guys I got a new amp new to me at least this is from an 01 to 03 uh, Lexus LS430 0W041. This is compatible. That's what I found on the forums. Now, let me show you guys what that looks like. This thing turned on. So as you guys can see, that fixed it. Um, so yeah, guys, the great thing about that is it's $400 to repair this one. But this one you can find on eBay for $200. And I saw some that had buy now or best offer. So I made offers and got it for less. Uh, another thing you could do is maybe find an 01 to 03 LS430 parts car on Facebook Marketplace. And maybe you could score it for 100 or 150, right? Um, so yeah, I hope that helped you guys out. This was a big issue for me. And I know it's a big issue for a lot of people. So if this helped you out, please let me know. 